Hey folks, let's learn something new about the oil and gas industry. All right, today we have a very special guest via Skype. We have Bernie Warren. How you doing, Bernie? Hey, I'm doing good, Mark. Um, now, Bernie, you did something really cool. You actually, we've never met in person. You actually found me online, didn't you? Right. Yeah. And then you have a long history of doing pro um, process automation out in the field, and you decided to kind of share that knowledge, and you wrote a book. Right, yeah. I'm a, I'm a production engineer. I spent a lot of time doing uh, production system optimization. And uh, I did a lot of it over my whole career, and I ended up, uh, I, I worked for Shell last, and I ended up working there as a as an expert in that. And I decided after sitting around a while and doing some other stuff, I, why, don't, why don't I write a book? So I wrote, uh, write it up here, like they do on TV, Practical Optimization for of Production, um, Petroleum Production Systems. So um, anyway, yeah, that's what I did. And I've got a course that goes along with it. Yeah, and so just so everybody knows, I've read the book as well, Bernie. <laughs> Which is great. That's really good. And it's very well written. And it's, it's a technical book, but for me as a layman, it was actually very easy to understand. And in this low crude price environment, I can't think of a single book that should be in the hands of more people in the field than this one right here. Yeah, I can't. I, I've, I've teased the oil industry a lot. You know, when the price is high, nobody cares about getting anything more efficient out of their fields. They're making plenty of money. When the price is low, they just cut back to absolutely nothing, and they don't. They don't do. They don't do what they what they should do, which is try to find the cheapest oil possible. We really should do that every day, right? You would think so. I, I've been saying the same thing. I, I was lucky about a year ago. I had me and a group of people had lunch with the CEO of. Um, of noble energy. He uh -huh. was talking about they've driven all, almost 90% efficiencies or cost savings in a field by getting rid of trucks and building pipelines. And I'm thinking, why didn't you do that when times were good where you had cash everywhere? Yeah, it just, yeah exactly. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people don't understand, like, you know, well, the price of oil is $20 a barrel. I can't make any money now. But I've, I have actually done a lot of consulting and when I worked for Shell also where you would go in and uh, reconfigure a beam pump well or a gas lift well or do an acid job or find a pipeline that was plugged or change the compressor uh, wheeling or something like that. And you can get your oil for six cents a barrel. I mean, yeah. it's almost unbelievable. But if you think about it, all the parts are already in the field, right? Everything's sitting right there. You just change them a little bit. It doesn't cost very much money. And here comes the oil. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's amazing the efficiencies that you have the right person that understands the whole universe, right? And right. drive by looking at the big picture and figuring out where are the constraints. Right, right. Yeah, so I ran into all the problems I think that you could have with these kinds of things. So when I wrote the book, you know, one of the one of the problems people always say is, well, I'd love to do optimization, but I don't have time for surveillance, and I'd love to do surveillance, but I don't have the best data. So I put various chapters in the book that to talk about how to get the data that you really need, how to make sure that people pay for it and that you have it available to you, uh, what to look for in surveillance and all the different tricks that you can use. Um, so a lot of people think surveillance is about just like looking at a chart and going, hmm, what does this mean? But surveillance is everything from interviewing the people in the field, knowing kind of like how to have a conversation, what to look for, when to drill down, when to when to you know push harder, when to stop pushing harder, um, uh, and like modeling, you know how I have a whole section in the book where we talk about how you every time you model anything like a well or pipeline or whatever, what you're really doing is surveillance. Yeah. So if you have actual data and you match the data, uh, the model to the data, that calibration of the model is surveillance if you do it in the right way. So. Um, yeah, you can get a lot of information out of some process like that that you do over time. You can see, you know, what the what the trend is doing in the calibration itself, and that will lead you to to do good surveillance, which is about finding anomalies that things that don't don't add up, don't make sense. You drill down, you go, aha, this pipeline is half plugged with something. If I clean it out, there I make oil. Oh, that what did that cost me? That I got that oil for. 50 cents a barrel, whatever it is. Yeah, fascinating stuff. Great guy, great book. So if anybody out there wants to learn more about what you're doing, how you can help with that optimization, where should they go? Uh, probably the easiest place is to go to wearingworld.com. Uh, 
Now, on that uh, site, I've got links to the course, to the book. Uh, the book is available on Amazon, Amazon.com, Amazon.uk, everywhere. Yeah, and so, folks, we'll throw links in the show notes so you can just click and go check it out. But I'm telling you, if you're an operator or if you're a service company that helps those operators in this low crude price environment, go check out Bernie's book. Bernie, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, this has been great. So, folks, I hope this helped. We will see you next time.